Just a quick little video on another type of learning called operant conditioning. So in previous videos, we've already learned about kind of innate behavior. So that's the type of behavior that you're born with. It's built into your DNA. It's built into your genes. There's evolutionary reasons for a lot of those behaviors existing. And for invertebrates, like little bugs, like most of the behaviors that they do are innate types of behavior. So not really advanced learning going on. So when it comes to learning, there's a lot of theories about learning. But one of the most basic examples of an experiment that showed that learning can happen were the experiments that were done by this scientist named Skinner. So a lot of stuff on the internet, a lot of examples, a lot of funny examples of people doing this in their dorm rooms or trying to associate behaviors with different types of things. So the special thing about this type of learning called operant conditioning is that it's kind of trial and error based. So you can kind of predict what's gonna happen here when you have a little mouse inside a box. There's a few things you should understand. So we put a hungry rat inside a box with a lever that releases food and basically the rat would eventually through trial and error and messing around with the only things that are in the room would press the lever and then actually be able to get some food. The food is the reinforcement, the food tastes good, the rat likes that, so pressing the lever is considered the operant response, so it's kind of a learned behavior and then the rat will continue to do this at a higher frequency as long as food keeps coming out. You can mess with the rat and then not give food or I don't know, do some other crazy types of things that might be considered unethical. But same thing is true for, you know, if you press something and it gives you an electric shock, pretty soon you start to have a weird response whenever you get close to that thing because you know it's gonna give you an electric shock. We've all learned from trial and error as long as we've survived from that particular thing. If you touch something that's really, really hot, you're gonna remember next time you see fire to kind of stay away from it. So. If this is uh, trial and error learning. Faster reinforcement is given and you get faster responses basically. So that's basically it. There's a lot of stuff out there, but it's a pretty straightforward idea. You just have to know some of the vocabulary. Trial and error learning, operant conditioning. Skinner is the name of the scientist who started these experiments. And then pressing the lever is the operant response. You can contrast this stuff, operant conditioning, with uh, classical conditioning, and that's the story of Pavlov and his dogs and ringing a bell with a conditioned stimulus. The dog starts to drool whenever he starts to hear a bell. That's what happens to me when people tell me food's ready.